Hello, welcome to the video. In this video, we solve exercise number 5-9. In this exercise, part arrive at machine shop with exponential distribution of 25 minutes. And then the shop has two machines and the arriving parts are assigned to one of the machine by flipping a fair coin. Except for the processing time, both machines operate in a same fashion. When a part enter a machine area, it requires operator attention to set up the part on the machine and remember there is only one operator in the shop. After the part is set up, the machine can process it without the operator and upon completion of the processing, the operator is once again required to remove the part and after completion, the part exits the system and the same operator does all setup and part removal with priority driven to the machine waiting the longest for an operator. And the time R parameters uh, mean are triangular distributed that is shown here for machine 1 and 2 setup time, processing time, and the removal time. So, run length of the simulation is 25,000 minutes and make single application and observe the following statistics. Okay, so let's move to the arena home screen. So, here is our model. So, first insert the create module and rename it as the create parts. And the time between arrival is 25 random as four minutes. Then add the assign module and rename it as the assign start time and define the attribute that is the start time and its value is t now. You can also right click here, build up expression and under the date and time function, you can insert the t now or you can uh, type on your own as well. Click OK and then again click OK. Then add the decide module. In the decide module, rename it as the decide machine. That is 55% chance for the entities to move to the operator 1 for machine 1 and operator 2, or sorry, operator 1 again, but for machine 2. So there is 50% chance for entities to move to either machine 1 or machine 2, and both machines have a single operator as mentioned in the problem. Okay. So after the decide module, add the seize module under the advanced process template. So rename it as the operator and seize operator and machine one. And under this module, add the resource that is the operator. You need to seize one and add an other resource that is the machine one. And the queue is seize operator and machine one queue. Then add the delay module from the flow template and uh, here type the duration for the delay that is triangular distributed and setup one as mentioned in the test. The setup time for machine one is 8 11, 16. So here you can see 8 11, 16 and storage ID where uh, this information is stored is setup one and under commands uh, type setup one and click OK. Then release operator from machine one and uh, add the uh, type resource and the resource name is operator which is defined at this stage. This is now released using this release module that is come from the advanced process module. Then add again delay that is the processing time for machine one is 202326. So 202326 that storage ID is process one and then click OK. Then seize operator one again using the seize module and then add the delay module again for removal of the part that is 7, 9, 12, 7, 9, 12. Then release both operator and machine using the release module. So you can see First, the part are inserted on the machine um, with the delay that is mentioned here. Then part uh, processing will be start and again operator required to remove the part. So at this stage and this stage operator is required but at this stage operator is not required. That's why here operator is released so that he can work for machine 2 as well because in this case problem only one operator is uh, use to uh, upload or unload the part for both of the machine that is machine 1 and machine 2. So now repeat the same step for uh, the other machine that is machine 2. So rename it the seize module as seize operator and machine 2 add the operator or 
the machine to definitely this resource is same that is defined at this module so no need to add further simply you need to call that resource then add the delay module mean the setup time then release the operator one then add delay or for processing time for process two then release the operator one then add the delay for removal sorry in this case operator is ceasing not releasing because operator is already released at this stage then release both machine and operator and here add the record module to record the machine to cycle time that is the type time interval attribute name is start time and tally name is machine to cycle time and exactly same record module is defined or add at this stage for recording the cycle time of machine one time interval start time and machine one cycle time so after all to uh, record the overall cycle time add an other record module and type the time interval start time and overall cycle time is the tally name and then dispose the entities so here you can see the model and under the storage spreadsheet you can see setup 1 2 process 1 2 removal 1 and 2 have been added because we have add all these information under this delay module storage id okay for pc process move to entity and initial picture assignment is picture dot blue ball and q length is first in first out and this attribute is already defined under this assigned module that is the start uh, time okay so here is the animation panel so this one is the sees operator and machine one queue and this one is sees operator and machine two queue and this one is added using the storage identifier mean the setup one at the point this one is for setup two storage so this information is added under the transporter module Oh, here so this one is storage for the transporter module again click the storage or process one and process two this one is the queue identifier that is assessed from under the queue menu this one so this one is the queue identifier for wait for the operators and this one is again the storage identifier okay so move to the run setup with one replication of 25,000 minutes and base time units is in minutes and click ok and then run the simulation so here you can see setup time processing then wait for operator part removal and go on all right so let's fast forward it to view the results hit this yes button so here you can see the machine 1 cycle time is and machine 2 cycle time and overall cycle time and the waiting time for setup and machine is 199 and for operator and machine 2 is 158 mean setup and machine time and the removal time for machine 1 is 0.38 and for machine 2 is 0.95 and the utilization is for machine 1 is 0.88 87 0.86 point, uh, 0 0.8639 and 0.7455 and this one is the operator utilization and above two are the machine one and machine two utilization so that's it thank you